Yo, what is up everybody? It's Boris Tech here, back for another video. And today, like I said, we have Five First Battle Pack. Set 75280, I think everyone knows that, 7 and up. How many faces? 200 um, something, I don't, I don't really know. Uh, we'll just flick to the back. Has the Skywalker Saga promotional stuff. Came out like 8 months before Skywalker Saga did. Not too many, like... Play features, some stud shooters, and obviously the main draw is the minifigures. So, yeah, really quick intro, I'll just kind of get into the build. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, we have finished the build. It took me about 40 minutes, similar to Obi-Wan's Jedi Starfighter up there. So, let's uh, just begin with some figures. Starting off with the two battle droids here. They're the exact same that we've had for ages now. Medium-sized blasters, as you can see. They work fine. Move on to these two 501st Troopers. They have the same blasters as the battle droids here. With the brand new 501st torso, and leg prints, back prints, and pretty similar helmet molds from the Umbara stuff. If you take the helmet off, it's the face print that was brand new with this set and the AAT, which I also own. It's up there. And then we move on to these two figs, which is the Jet Trooper, who has the exact same face, but more fives like helmet I suppose um, if I um, get another one of these I'll make a fives custom with the helmet uh, pretty similar back print I believe and torso and leg prints the only difference is the blue arms and the more blue on the breastplate there so that's the jet trooper he has the same weapon as all these ones now this guy's the same as those two but he has the uh, DC 50 with the little attachment on the end of the long rifle. So yeah, those are the figs. Pretty similar. It's more of like a extended battle pack than anything. We'll move on next to the uh, BARC speeder, the bark speeder. Which is just here. We'll move this here. Uh, this piece is... This part here is literally three stickers. One, two, three. It's quite a good build. Good little weapon system. Controls, uh, stud shooters. I've got extra studs for the stud shooters with that one and these two. Just sitting down there. Probably put one of these two on there. Not going to do that right now because I'm using my hands for recording this. Pretty simple build. It's a little. I feel like the bark is a little big. Apart from that, it's well built. You can tell it's 501st. So yeah, that's, that's the bar. Now we move on to most people's issue with this uh, being the AT-RT. It's basically slightly a slightly more small version of the 2013 one, which I have previously owned. Uh, you got some spots for weapons and a rangefinder binocular here. Uh, space for the driver there. Most people's issue with this is it's too big. I thought it would have been bigger from people's complaints with this set when it like first came out. I am honestly kind of pleasantly surprised with the size of this. Uh, it's not as big as I thought and it works kind of well for this and it will work well for my display that I'm working on up there. But yeah, I don't really have much else to say. Everything that's kind of wrong with this set has been said by other reviewers. I'm really late to this train as it was never available in Australia, guys. Like, it came back in stock for one day on lego.com. It was gone in about three hours. That's how ridiculous it is. It's like the ATTE at the moment. 
so yeah, like I said, very small video, not much to say to this, and that kind of does it for the video. If you did enjoy, please consider leaving a like, and if you wish to subscribe, you can always unsubscribe later, and it's free. So yeah, I'll see you in the next one, whenever that is.